Señores. Señores, get out. <laughs> Welcome to Arizona, Alan. John, <laughs> meet my foreman, Amando. Herman for short. This crazy brigand used to raid me so much in the old days. I had to hire him, so he quit pestering me, but he's been honest ever since. I should scare you out of the daylights, eh, Mr. Stewart? <laughs> you did. It was a well-played joke. I don't think it's so funny. You must be Howie. You look like a Stewart. Yeah? Glad to meet you, Uncle John. The last time I saw you, he was just a year old. We'll have to get acquainted all over again. Folks, this is the biggest day in my life. The guest of honor is my brother, Adam, from Ohio. He's a fine lawyer. And now that he's going to be one of us, we'll finally have some law in Okatia. Well, glad to have you settled here, Mr. Stewart. Thank you. John's been talking about you coming for months. Glad to be here. This is Sheriff Gibbons and Mrs. Gibbons. They were married only last week. Oh. <laughs> this is my son, Howie, Sheriff. How do you do? Hello. Howie. But I guess you'll get to know everybody soon enough. Oh, Bill, roll that coach out of here. Hey, get those fiddles and guitars going. Come on, dance up, everybody. We're going to have a gale. On that table over there. Hurry up now. I've been saving Corinne for the last. Adam, Howie, this is Mrs. Michael, my best girl. He just calls me that. I'm not really. How do you do? Yes, you are, too. Organize a party for me beginning to end. A party needs a woman's touch, and at a time like this, I always chase into town for her help. I can't imagine where you could do better, John. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Howie, how do you think you're going to like living in Arizona? Well, I don't know. I liked it all right in Cincinnati. 
<laughs> oh, Wick, uh, I want you to meet my brother Adam. Wick Camp, how do you do? How do you do? My nephew Howie. How are you? And Senorita Segura. Adam? Camel's almost as big in the town of Ocotilla, or he thinks he is, as I am in the valley, so he'll probably be able to throw a lot of business your way. You can be sure of that. But I'm small potatoes compared to your brother. He runs everything for a hundred miles around Ocotilla. I don't run anything, Wick. But I like to help a man build on his own, as I did you when you came here. I haven't forgotten it, Stuart. He won't let me. That's right. How are you and Maria should be dancing? Go on, Wick won't mind. He can't dance. He's all mule feet. May I? Would you mind sitting this one out? I'd like to talk to you. Please. Would you excuse us, Corinne? I'd like a minute without him. Naturally, after 18 years. Come along, I want to show you something. I thought maybe we could get better acquainted here. Um, you live in Okatia? Yes. Well, that's great. I'll be living there, too, with my father. Um, I'll have a lot of free time on my hands. Maybe we can spend it together. Can I get you anything, Mr. Campbell? I can find what I want. John's oldest friend's late for his party. Yeah. We had to stay behind to see that the holdup went off all right. <laughs> well, looks as though John has got everything he ever hoped for. Yeah. Where in town do you live? It doesn't matter. What are you so nervous about? Nothing. Why? What's your hookup with Campbell? Are you his steady girl or something? Oh, no. No, I am not his girl. Well, I shouldn't think so. He's old enough to be your father. Please, we dance, yes? All right. Did you ever see a sight like that? You never get tired looking at it. In the beginning, the Apaches came out of the hills and burned me to the ground four times in a row, but they couldn't kill me. Bandits swept across the Rio Grande, stole my cattle and horses time and again, and I killed three of them myself. But I branded more cattle, all I could find. Mavericks were running wild because there was no market for cattle. <laughs> then the markets opened, and I drove thousands of Longhorns to Abilene, Wichita, and Dodge as the price went from a dollar a head to 30. And that did it. Look at them from the Bosque Grande to the Benita River. As far as you can see, everything is mine. I'm proud of you, John. And I'm proud of myself all the years of fighting up behind. When settlers came to this valley, there was only the adobe village of Ocotilla, which the Mexicans and Indians had started to build. We finished it for them, and now we've got the start of a real town. And as the first attorney, you'll mean law and peace. And you'll make them strong, and you'll make them last. You place great faith in me, John, but I, I'll do my best. Sure. You're a steward, aren't you? <laughs> I don't like strangers dancing with Maria. If she wants to dance with me, that's her business. It's my business. Oh, Wick, please! flirting with him because he's a steward. Now listen, mister. You keep away from her at all times, you understand? Harold! When I invite a man to my house, I expect him to act like a gentleman. He was pawing her. I was not. I didn't do anything. I'm sure you weren't, Howie. Keep on playing. Go on dancing, folks. I'm getting tired of you telling me what to do. Get out of here till you sober up. We're going. Maria, you were always welcome here, just the same as your father was. Come on. I'd like to... Let's have some refreshments. Maria! 
get you away from me. You're acting like a little fool. Why do you act the way you do? All because I would have fun dancing with that Stuart boy? No other man dances with you. Most of all, Stuart. Your jealousy is like a craziness. Maria, when your father was killed in my saloon, you were homeless. I, I felt sorry for you. I wanted to make it up to you. I gave you everything, all this. I did not know how it would be. I did not think that you would fall in love with me. Or what do you call love? I do love you. You've grown into a beautiful young woman. And no man's going to have you but me. So you take and own me like you do everything else. No matter how I feel. That's right. When I close that saloon tonight, I'm coming back here. And you'll be waiting. You better give me another one of those. Lay all the champagne. What is this, your wedding night? <laughs> wedding night. Yeah, that's what I am, a blushing bridegroom. She go. I don't know, but she said she wouldn't come back ever. I know where she went. Herman, I want you to take Howie with you today when you check that south range. Whatever you say, boss. Pretty early for you, anyway. Maria rode out here last night. I've come to take her back. She's here to stay. She wants no part of you. She's the only thing that matters to me. She's all I think about. Ah, you wouldn't understand that. Lately, I don't understand much of anything about you. You could talk to her. Tell her I'll be good to her. No. The girl's afraid of you. It's as simple as that. You have no right to interfere. Right, she needed help. You know, Camel, you're not thinking straight. Since you've become a big man, you've got the idea that everything should be done the way you want it, and that's dangerous. Better straighten yourself out before somebody does it for you. You, Stuart? Possibly. Those hard cases have been drifting in from all the tough towns in the West. I know, Dad. I wish I knew why. Well, I know one thing. They're professional gun hawks, every last one of them. Your father's right, Sheriff. They are gun hawks. Why don't you run them out of town? They can't go chasing strangers just because they look ornery. They got to break the law first. I don't like it. There's going to be trouble. Martha's fixing some stew, Dad. It's a favor. Coming to supper? No, no thanks, son. I'll leave you two newlyweds alone. Devo, welcome to Ocotillo. Hello, Campbell. Well, time hasn't changed you much. Greedy looking as ever. Pick up the Colton brothers here on the way out of Kansas. Moving fast. Glad to know you. Al Drucker, Dave Weed, and some of the others you probably know are already inside. Come on in. Scavo, you know Drucker? 
trucker, weed. Give these boys anything they want. But Mr. Campbell, you ought to know these fellas got no bottoms to their stomachs. They'll eat and drink you dry. I ask you, set them up. What we want to know is when this ball we've been invited to is going to open. Stewart's already opened it. And I'm going to close it. With your help. And I'm going to start right now. Well, Grinnell, I've been expecting you. I know. And don't think I don't know why you want my ranch in particular, Campbell, because I do. Why is that, Tom? Well, it's because my ranch was right up against Stewart's land. Now, if you got a foothold on the range, you'd be figuring out some scheme to whittle John down to your level. Of course, you're wrong about that. Am I? Everybody knows you hate him from here to breakfast for keeping that Mexican girl out of your reach. Todd, I thought you were here to talk about that loan on your ranch. It's due today. You wouldn't be thinking of giving me an extension, would you? Can't afford it. No, that's what I was appeared of. You know, your only reason for loaning me that money in the beginning was because you were sure I'd never be able to repay it. <laughs> Well, I've got a surprise for you. I'm going to pay that loan in full, in cash, so you can fork out that note and mark it canceled. The money will be here on the noon stage. Well, Todd, I'm real glad to hear it. I hate to see a hardship worked on any man. Red, go across the street and get that lawyer, Adam Stewart. We'll settle this all legally and right now. Go ahead. And I'll buy you a drink to celebrate. Well, that's real nice of you, Wick. What do you have? Bourbon. Two bourbons. It seems a shame to take half your office from you, Mrs. Michaels. There's just no other place in this town for an office, as John told you. Besides, there's plenty of room. You're very kind. Of course, I, I don't have any clients as yet. You will. Your brother's been drumming up business for you for weeks. How long have you known, John? Almost ten years. About the time my husband died. We just moved here and built this house. I decided to stay, and so John asked Mr. Carter to give me a job in the freighter office. What's this I hear about you being his best girl? That's just his way of joking with me. Well, if he had any sense, he shouldn't joke about it. <laughs> I can see you don't know, John. Building his ranch, raising cattle, helping this town to prosper. Hasn't left him very much time for the ladies. He's been much too busy. Yes. He told me so. Mr. Stewart. Mr. Campbell would like to see you at the hotel. He has some lawyer business with you. You see? A client already. Would you mind? Yeah. I'm glad you're here, too. What's the story? Well, Todd Grinnell came in here begging for an extension on a loan I hold on his ranch. I refused him. He went crazy, drew down on me. Guess you heard the first shot. That was his. I had to kill him in self-defense. And right? Just like he said. We all saw it. Mr. Stewart, this is my first job for you. You'll have to foreclose this mortgage I hold on Todd Grinnell's ranch. I thought Grinnell was your friend. That's what makes it so sad. I've known Todd for years. First time I was ever forced to kill a man, and it had to be a friend of mine. Have some hot coffee before you turn in. No. I shot some breakfast for us. I'm sick of those Mexican flapjacks. What's the matter with the Mexican flaps?
You don't like too much this ranch work, do you, Howie? You can have it. And how happened you took the job? It was Uncle John's idea. Said it'd be good for me. You know, boy, the fever get in your blood someday, like he did your uncle. You can have him, too. Give me a cup of coffee. Looks like Stewart's running too many cattle for his range. Maybe we should ship some of them for him. It's a good idea. Save grass. Go ahead. It's Red Dawes, one of Wick Campbell's men. I know him. Campbell never can do this to us, tools. Look! They're coming back to get him. Let's go! Can't catch him now. You see? They take the cattle to the Campbell's ranch. That's Camel's trail, Harriet, on the way to market. Any of them yours? Can't tell, but he's had time to rebrand them. Campbell never took over that many cattle from Todd Grinnell. Come on, we'll follow them to the loading pens.
there, Mr. Campbell. The tally shows 1,217 head. A big shipment. Just what my tally shows, Campbell. Now, what business is this of yours? I know that the late Todd Grinnell was running slightly less than 1,000 head when you inherited his ranch. What of it? Happens I lost around 300 head the other night, which makes up the difference for the sudden increase. And many of the brands, they plenty fresh, eh, Mr. Campbell? If you'll check carefully, you'll find that all the brands are fresh. I'm in the cattle business to stay now, and I rebranded all of Todd Grinnell's herd with my own new registered brand, a Broken Bar O. And you haven't any case against me at all. No. This is Red Dawes' best, one of your hired hands. He'd be glad to get it back. He won't need it. He was stampeded to death rustling my cattle. So Red turned to that. I knew he was bad. That's why I fired him a week ago. And you still haven't any case against me. What about it, Adam? It's his word against what you believe. Not much evidence to give before a court of law without witnesses. And you haven't any. See, this law that protects you also works for me. You don't like that. Maybe you were better off in the old days when you took and kept what you wanted with a hard fist and a fast gun. That's the last time you'll ever throw anything in my face, Stuart. Stewart's nephew. Good looking fella. And young. Yeah, I can see how that Mexican guy would like it better out of the ranch than with you. That's no way for you to be losing your temper. You're paying us good money just for that sort of thing, and now you want to have all the fun yourself. Pull the paper, fellas. I wins. Let me have him, Scavo. He's just my size. Kid's yours, Weed. Take him. Well, you don't have to push. I don't. Who are you? My name's Stuart. So you're a Stuart. From the big ranch in the valley. Any of them Stuarts I hate. I get all worked up. I hate them so much I could kill. Feel the same way myself sometimes. Look, fella, why don't you have another drink? Didn't you hear what I said about the Stuarts? Yeah, but I don't want to, to fight you about it. You're going to. But I don't have a gun. Then find one now. I'll walk outside for a minute, then walk back in. Who does he think he's fooling? He ain't fooling. He meant what he said. He wouldn't. Not when I don't have a gun. Take mine, boy. I don't want it. I'm not afraid. I just don't want to fight anybody. I don't want your gun, fella. trick I played in that poor young punk.
But you can't let me stay here. I'm innocent. Every man there swore that the dead man was only joking when Howie suddenly grabbed Scavill's gun and shot. I had to bring him in. They lied. I shot in self-defense. We know that, Howie. So does Clyde. Then why am I in jail? Why can't I get out on bail? I'm sorry, Howie, but bail isn't allowed in a killing. Your father knows that, too. He's been riding all day looking for the circuit judge. He's long overdue. Yeah. Wait for the circuit judge. With all those witnesses calling me a liar, you'll have a fair trial. Then you'll be legally free. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Do you? Camel will break my neck. Come on. <coughs> Sit down. We'll play some poker. The chips. I'll collect later. the card. These irons get in my way. I'll get it. Devil. I don't want to kill you. So do what I say and do it exactly or I will. Easy, Howie. Easy. Get the keys and take off these irons. I ain't got them, Howie. The sheriff's got them on him. Don't stall me. So help me, Howie. Now that's the only set there is. So why don't you settle down? You can't get away. I won't say nothing about your trying. Get that axe and be careful. Split the chain on my ankles. And swing straight. Give me your gun belt. Inside, hurry up. If you're heading out to John Stewart's looking for his nephew, don't waste your time because he ain't there. How do you know? I've been working out there, keeping my mouth shut, my eyes open like you wanted. I had him open at daybreak when that kid Howie rode in. He went right to the blacksmith shop and cut off his handcuffs and leg irons. I figured he escaped from jail. Next, he got some grub and stuffed and left again. His uncle helped him? No, Maria Segura. I saw him knock on her window and talk to her, then he rode away. A minute later, she sneaked out with a saddlebag of things and rode after him. Stewart didn't know a thing about it until he got up. She ran off with that kid. Well, it looked like it. I'll find him. And the girl? You wouldn't want us to be busting up a budding romance like that now, would you? Don't bait me, Scavo! You 
in there. Where is he? How do I know? Mr. Stewart doesn't tell me his business. He just drove away some time ago. His team and wagon are gone. Thanks very much, Ms. Michaels. Not important anyway. He didn't pass the hotel. There's only one road he could have taken, his brother's ranch. insisted on seeing Adam. When I told him he'd driven away, he said it wasn't important. That all? They headed out of town. I didn't tell them that Adam was on his way to see you. How is the one that bunch is after? Where's Howie now? I don't know. I'll have to catch Adam. What's the meaning of this? It's the idea of running away. Where are you going? It's none of your business, but I was driving out to see my brother. In such a hurry? You mean you were going to see your son? Where is he? I don't know. He's not at the Stewart Ranch. No. He ran off with that Mexican filly. You do know where he is, and you'd better tell me. I don't know, and even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Where's the kid? You're crazy, Campbell! Cain Campbell, you... Where is he? I don't know, I tell you, I don't know! Those men killed him. Camel and the others. 
They're the only ones who could have. Because of me. Well, I'll kill them too. And I'll get Camel first. We're done now, John. What Camel is up to is pretty clear. And then we ride like in no times, shooting down. No, that's what he wants us to do, if it justifies violence. You and the sheriff get word to Jason Call, Green and Tom Baines to meet us at the freight office tonight. All right, John. Maria, where have you been? Where's Howie? I hide him at the little ranch of old Miguel Ruiz, who was once a friend of my father's. Well, why didn't you tell me? He was afraid you would send him back to jail. And now he's gone to get his gun. He swears he's going to kill Campbell. I tried to stop him, but he would not listen. Come on. Why'd you tell him, Maria? I had to. Give me that gun, Howie. No, stay back. I know what I've got to do. Because you threw a lucky shot once, you think you can do it again. You wouldn't stand a chance. Stand back, Uncle John. Oh, please, Howie, listen. No. You're really to blame for all this. You made my father come out here where he had no place to be, and now he's dead. You killed him as much as anybody because you wanted your law to take care of everything. Yes, you can look at it that way. I am to blame. But I'm not going to have you killed, too. You're afraid to fight him. Well, I'm not. Give me the gun. I'll handle this my way. What are you planning to do? Serve some papers on Mr. Campbell? Look, Howie, this is a man's job. Then who'll do it? You? Don't come any closer. You're not... <laughs> He'll be all right. Look after him. Keep him here till I get back. Why the back door? I wanted to see the town before it saw me. Still coming in. All afternoon, several of them. Tell Jason and the others when they come for the meeting that things have been changed. You're wearing a gun. What's brought this change in you? Howie. John, all this could end if you'd send Maria back to Campbell. She's why he hates so much, isn't she? Partly. If Maria went back to a man like that, it would be the end of her. Could you ask her to do it? No. I didn't think so. This fight isn't only over a girl. Camel's grown as big as he can within the law. Now he's using violence to take him to the top. I'm standing in his way. You'll be killed. The last to fight and the first to die. No, you forget Adam. Number 
John stood himself. You must be Frank Scavell. That's right, Mrs. Stewart. What can I do for you? Thought Wake Campbell might be here. No, oh, he don't happen to be around. At least I don't see him. You seen him, Drucker? Why, no, I ain't. If there's anything we can do to oblige you. There's nothing right now. Well, any time. Planning to be in Nocatee alone, Mr. Scavell? Oh, yes. Come here on account of the climate. Campbell said we'd get real healthy. Recently, it hasn't been too healthy for several people. But if we could have a few more new, fine, upstanding citizens like you men, Okatia would soon get a name for itself. Good night. Stuart! Good night. Stand up, Campbell. Stand up. You're a born sucker, Stuart. Bigger than I ever seen. Yeah? You're pretty smart. Now, Mr. Campbell dreamed this one up. He figured you'd come storming after your brother's shooting. And I got the privilege of greeting you, because your nephew killed my friend. Make your first shot count, Drucker. I always do. And now they find you dead because you came busting in here trying to murder poor Mr. Campbell. I might even get a reward out of this, eh? Sucker. Fine, Stewart. Find him and kill him. Liar. Bragging was a first rate gunslinger. Brandy, Kansas. Ride out and cover all roads. He'll be heading out of town. All right, get moving. Campbell. I saw him heading around back of the freight office. That's interesting. All right, men. Save the horse flesh. Go to your homes, all of you. Did I have no part of this? What's good into you, John? Trying to cut down Campbell alone. Didn't Corinne tell you? Yes, but we're all in this, or will be. That's what I'm trying to prevent. It only takes one man to stop Campbell. Without him, the rest will leave. I'm the reason this trouble started, and I want to finish it. Now, this badge doesn't mean anything anymore. Only a target for Camel's guns. But you were the one that pinned it on me. Forget it. There's no law in Okatia. Stuart! We know you're in there. Come out, or we're coming in! I thought I'd gotten away safely. I'd never have brought them here. Make it quick, Stuart! Looks like we got all the foxes bottled up in one hole. Cut loose. Maybe it's only you they want, Stuart, and not us. But if they should break in here... 
John, you can't do it. Green may be right. Do you think if they killed you, that would save us? You're the leader. Without you, there'd be nothing to stop them then. What they would do here could happen to any house in town. Got nothing to fight back with but two pistols. We'll all die like rats in a trap. I'm gonna run for it. Shut up, stay down. I packed them away years ago. Jason, better go in with Clyde. Tom, cover this window here. Henry, take the back door. Corinne, I'm sorry I had to bring this on you. Don't be. I'm glad you're here alive. When daylight comes so they can see who you are, I wish you'd leave. Even if they hold you, you'll be safer than in this house. I want to be here. Remember? I'm your best girl. Senor, don't go. Dead men. They shoot everybody. Yeah? Who are they shooting at? People in the senora's house. They kill. You mean the people in the freighter office? Just a minute. Where do you think you're going? I just came into town. I got to see Campbell. Campbell's down at the hotel. Hold it. Hey, if you're a gunslinger, how come you ain't wearing a gun? I lost it. Tell that to Campbell. There, Miss Howie. Fill that hotel with lead. Didn't I? What is this? What's going on? Here, sit down here. Let's have a look at it. Is it bad? No. I can fix it. Make a tourniquet out of the sleeve. I'll get some water and bandages. I told you to stay where you were. I came here to get a gun. My father's. It's in his desk. As long as you're here, you'll have to fight. Go relieve Henry Green at the back door. There's no water to wash the wound, but I found this bottle of whiskey. No water? A bullet smashed the water cooler. Bullets, fighting, killing. It's not the answer to anything. Just like that boy I killed in the streets. He was no older than Howie. Why did he come here? Why did he travel a thousand miles or more just to come under my gun? Maybe it was meant to be. He could have become another camel. Why don't they come after us if they're going to? We need a drink. I don't believe in bottle bravery, but this will tone us all up. some wood for the stove. Howie? John? Howie's out there. Crazy fool.
Haven't you any sense at all? We need water, don't we? I got it. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. That's the last water they'll get. I think you're the steadiest woman on earth. Am I? You're trembling. Yes. I'm going to tell you again, leave this house. The situation is bad and the showdown can come at any time. I know that. For myself, I'm not sorry for any of this, but I am sorry that there didn't seem to be time enough for us to get to know each other better in the past. Are you now? Has time run out? I'm not a doddering old lady yet. I, uh... I suppose you've known it all along, but the way I feel toward you this moment is no different than the way I've always felt about you. It's taken this, seeing it your best to make me realize it when it's too late. John, if you're making love to me, I'm not going to let you sit there and act as though it were the end of our lives. There are going to be no goodbyes. I'm not leaving this house, and that's that. You must. If I'm to die, I want it all at once, and with you. I'm not going any place else to die in little pieces. If there's any of that whiskey left, you bring the bottle to me. I'd like a sip to stop the shaking in my knees. I mean it about the bottle. I really do. I'll join you. I want you to know, John, you got no kick coming from me. I've never wanted anything more than I've had. Only a chance to live my life without being afraid. I guess this is as good a way as I need to prove it. Stuart! Everybody! They're coming at us! What are we going to do? Campbell's with them. They're, they've got a woman. Marva. I want to talk to Sheriff Gibbons. Talk to me, Camel. Not you, Stuart. I'll get you later and it won't be to gab. You and your nephew murdered two of my men and you'll both pay for it. What about my brother, Camel? What about him? I wouldn't know. I understand he committed suicide. You're still alive, Sheriff. Speak up. This is Gibbons. What do you want? I have no quarrel with anyone in there except the Stewarts. The rest of you come out, I'll let you go free. We've heard that before. Well, listen to your daughter. Oh, please! Oh, Clyde, please! Mr. Mr. Campbell means what he says. Come out, you and Father and, and Cory and the others. You'll be safe. Clyde! Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. We've got a right to live our lives. Why should you give up yours because of something someone else did? This isn't your fight. Oh, Clyde, please. Please think of us just once. <laughs> Why should we all be killed? He started it. He said so. Go, Clyde, if you wish. You've done your share. All right, what's the answer? If you got any ideas, you can hold out till help comes. Forget them. The town's all sewed up. We've got to say yes. What am I going to do? I won't hold it against any of you. Go on, run out, all of you. We stewards don't need you.
Marva, have you lost your reason? Are you trying to turn your man into a coward? You'll die. He's not dead yet, nor are any of the others. Tell your friends to snap it up. Marva, you can't be idiot enough to believe that this man here will keep his word. He'll kill them all if they come out of that house. Get off the street. Cat him. They're here for one reason only, to kill. Don't come out, Clyde. Cabo's lying. He'll never keep his promise. I was crazy to think so. Put him in the hotel and lock him up. Women sure jinx you, Campbell. Who's throwing it, Tom? for Baines. They're blowing us apart room by room. John, we, we haven't got a prayer against that dynamite. Yeah, you're right, Jason. We'll go out the back door, one at a time at intervals, so they won't have a bunch to shoot at. Maybe they figure they got most of us by now. It would help. We'll head for the river. That's the only way. The first one out will have the best chance. That'll be you, Clyde, with that wound. Watched it now. I'll go anyway. I've got to take that chance. Wait ten seconds, Clyde. Stay close to the well. Come on, you killers! Try and stop us. Try. They're coming out the front way. Covered for us. That's only the old man.
Come in, Sheriff. Anne! What happened? Campbell's blowing up the town. They've gone kill crazy. Ride to the store branch for help. Ride fast. You can make it by sun up. No, no, Stephen, don't go. It ain't our fight. Think of the family. If Campbell finds out, oh, please, please, you can't. Six wins. So well, what do you know? I win again. No, you were on four. Boy, sir, I was on six. <laughs> How lucky can a guy get? All right, stop it! You had enough, Scavo? Oh, we're just celebrating the victory. What victory? You give me one old man and two shopkeepers. Where's John Stewart and the boy? The tenth time I told you I blew them out of the creek. You were well paid for it. Thousand dollars gold for each one of you. You've been eating my food and drinking my whiskey till it's running out of your ears. <laughs> you forgot our traveling expenses. Not another cent. Bring in the safe, boys. Hold it. Take his gun. All right. You're overplaying your hands, Cavill. Yeah? Why? Open her up, Mr. Campbell. Open it. We let you see how fair and even we divide the money among us. So you'll know we're not cheating you. On second thought, we'll split it later. You know we'll be honest. All right, you got what you want. Now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I can get 50 men better than you. So get out of my town. Your town? Ain't you heard? This is our town. Come on, boys, we're drinking on Mr. Campbell. Senior Campbell. I have looked for her, like you paid me. I have found her. Maria, where is she? She is not the ranchito of Don Miguel. talk to me. There is nothing to say. Do not come near me. You have killed. Only because of you. Because of you and John Stewart. It is not true. You wanted power. No, only you. Thinking about you has made me crazy. I would pray that I were ugly so that you would never look at me again. No, Maria. You and I will always be together. They're looting Ocotillo, but it doesn't matter. We'll rebuild it. We'll start over. No, no! You're the only thing I ever wanted. Come on! You're saving the trouble of finding him. I'm unarmed. There's an accounting to be made. My brother, the others, and Howie. You'll be unhappy to know he's going to live thanks to Maria. No, no, I'm glad. I, I made a mistake. You'll give me a chance. You'll be that fair. I'm walking out of that door for a minute, and then I'm going to walk back in. One of your men did that to Howie. Find yourself a gun, and when I come in, use it. You, you had a gun. The fine gun that I gave you, where is it? I do not know. Where is it? I do not know! Quiet!
No, no, I haven't got a gun. I have two. This one belonged to my brother, Adam. Take mine, it's loaded. Either you ride to the marshal's office with me in Tucson, or pick it up and use it. Watch out for Howie, Maria. I'm going to tell him. You trying to wreck my organization, Stuart? I have wrecked it. Camel's dead and the others have gone. <laughs> Except for me. Except for you. Unbucking your gun belt. Toss it down. Them two gals I got locked upstairs should make my ride to the border real pleasant. Especially that pretty gal of yours. Corinne?
It's on this time to stay, Clyde. And I hope you find your old job very dull from now on. Oh. I hope so, John. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Padre. You did a first-rate job. Thank you, John. <clears throat> Haven't you forgotten something, Howie? Oh, I forgot to pay. For you, sir. It was a nice wedding. I don't think it's quite enough for a double wedding. There you are. Goodbye, everybody. Ready, Mrs. Stewart? Ready, Mr. Stewart.